Earlier this week, Hezbollah Deputy Secretary General Naim Qasem publicly came out in support of the political process currently underway, uh, overseen by Lebanon's official government, to attempt and reach a ceasefire between Hezbollah and Israel. Uh, this was notable because it is the first time that Hezbollah has publicly backed this process without conditioning any such arrived at ceasefire on an end to Israel's humane and justified counterattack against Hamas in Gaza. This raises the question, why? Why has Hezbollah, the most feared and powerful of Iran's proxy armies, more or less the de facto government in most respects, of Lebanon, why does it feel that it is now in a position where it has to make such a big concession? I think the answer is fairly clear, uh, and it lies in the series of daring, devastating, and successful attacks Israel has launched against Hezbollah in the past weeks. So what are we to take away from this? Uh, I would say the message is quite clear. Since the beginning of Israel's counterattack against Hamas, the Biden administration's policy has been to advocate that Israel should somehow win by losing, somehow defeat Hamas by giving up before they are defeated. And at every point, Biden and his advisors have done everything they can to handcuff Israel, to deter it from continuing the military pressure on Hamas. And they had done the same thing uh, to a certain extent with Hezbollah, which it's important to remember had been firing rockets unceasingly into Israel since the morning of October 8th. The capitulation of Qasem, however, seems to suggest that totally unsurprisingly, precise, successful, daring, and deadly strikes on an enemy can, in fact, reduce its will to go on fighting and bring it back to the negotiating table with a clear vision of what the likely outcome is to be.